Well, this is no longer the Albanian coast. After three days of just hanging out in Samil, where the nice beaches are, the crystal clear blue water, I am in Italy. And this is the town of Albino, Italy. Okay, go downstairs here. Um, it is between Milan and Bergamo, which is where I flew into last night. My original plan yesterday, I was going to take the uh, the shuttle van up to Vlora, and it was jam packed, no air conditioning. And about five minutes before we were getting ready to take off, I had the seat next to me open. And I'm like, okay, I can probably do this for three, three hours. And like two minutes later, this guy gets on pouring a sweat, has to take the seat right next to me. And I'm like pressed up against the window and there's no cold air blowing. It's just miserable. And I said, the hell with this. I said, I can't do it. So I jumped off, I got my bag the driver's like two minutes from taking off he's like oh, oh no get on get on I'm like no way so i jumped the ferry to corfu and then just went directly uh i walked from the ferry terminal back up to the city center and called a bus and then uh took that bus out to the airport and just kind of looked at the board and said where can i go so it cost me about 85 dollars to get over here on Ryanair, it was about an hour and 20 minutes late. Uh, so I got in here about 10.30 last night. My Airbnb host picked me up at the airport and drove me back, it's about maybe 25, 30 minutes away. And this is at the base of the, uh, the Alps, he was telling me. So he gave me some ideas on some things to see later on today. Uh, there's like a big nature preserve, three or four miles north of here, I believe. That he said that's definitely worth doing uh, so it's only about 9 30 in the morning right now so i have to get some euros uh because i have no no cash so i thought i'd walk down maybe try to find an atm and uh maybe grab a cup of coffee and some breakfast or something and then go just kind of explore i'm here for two days that's the road that'll take you back to bgy airport um so yeah, so Albania was there for about 10 days, which was awesome. Uh, I didn't get to see Vlora, but Saranda was pretty sweet and Samil was awesome. So now we'll go explore Albino here in Italy for the day. Let's go. Well, we have hopped on a bus and we're up to Vertova. V-E-R-T-O-V-A. And this is where my Airbnb host was telling me there's some really good hiking waterfalls up in the forest. Looking at my phone, it's like a mile and a half or mile and three quarters. I sure as hell hope it ain't all uphill. Actually, did I get a great night sleep last night? I fell asleep about one. I think I woke up like at 5.30. And then the church bells rang around seven in the morning. And by about 7.15, I said, to hell with it, and just got up. Had a breakfast of yogurt, about three quarters of a Snickers bar, and some water. I did not drink a bunch of water yesterday. I was pretty poor in the hydration zone. So I got two 1.5 liters with me. I thought it was going to be cooler up here, uh, but I think the high today is like 86 or 87. And what we're not enjoying is that breeze that we had off the uh, the sea in Albania. So I'll try to stay hiking into the shade. This is a pretty little town here. And so far it's all been uphill. So if we can find the uh, park, we'll come back to it. 
Yeah, pretty nifty view here up on top. I just came up a set of steps. Just missed the church bells ringing at 1230. Looks back down into the valley. All the uh, the houses have the same kind of roof roofing on them. Those big like half cinder tiles. Looks like a quaint Italian village. Uh, I'm staying back through the valley that direction. Bus ride up was probably about four, four and a half miles maybe. And this is a church that I probably showed before I shut the other video off. So we're going to keep climbing. I think destination is somewhere up that direction. we go. Well, the ascent up the hill continues. Here's the thing. I've seen like cars parked all along the, uh, the route here. I've probably gone about a mile. I'm the only idiot I've seen out walking though. I know what I read. They said there was no parking up at the actual park. Uh, but I thought I might see some people at least walking down or walking up, but just a few motorcyclists and things such as that, so. Well, I think I'm getting closer because I do see a sign up here. Something about a ticket. I don't know anything about a ticket. We'll go explore that. Hopefully this hasn't been all for naught. Oh, hey. So there actually was a fee to get up here. When I turned off the video before, there was a gal sitting under the umbrella and it was a ticket checkpoint, a billet checkpoint, as the Italians call tickets, billets. And um, sure as shit, as soon as I stopped there, there's like five people all of a sudden walking up behind me and coming down the hill. So I, of course, did not have a actual ticket, but it was real simple. You go on your phone and, and order one. It took, and by the time I got my connection and she got me loaded up on the website, five, five or six minutes, I guess, all told. But I got to stand under the umbrella, cool off a little bit, but I think I'm pretty close now. Since uh, she was sitting there, I've walked another five minutes and Definitely getting a little bit higher up here in the hills. Fortunately, the sun has been to the side and behind me. Not walking into it. And there's a nice little breeze coming off this creek down here. So all the online reviews are, are pretty impressive as far as the, uh, the scenery up here. And I agree, the walk up has been quite, quite pleasant. Uh, the negative reviews are for the charge and admission, the no parking nearby, and the uh, the food, I guess, is not much to write home about. I'll tell you what is uh, a lot to write home about. These houses are awesome. Commune de Vertova. How would you like to live up here? Look at these places. Sure, you're talking a century old and probably even more than that. Probably passed down from generation to generation. Look at that wall. How awesome. You don't even have to have a garden. You got one growing on your hillside. But they do anyway. That's pretty. All right, more from the top coming up. Commune de Vertova. 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 I think it's Vertova.
So it's about another 10 minutes for when I shut it down before we come to the first area that the stream runs right next to us. A little bit of a waterfall here. This flows into the water that I just hiked up alongside moments before. This is, I guess, the restaurant. I don't think it's open today. If it is, it's not very busy. It's like a little picnic and playground area out that direction, but the umbrellas are down and I don't see a whole lot of activity out there. So I know, like people said, give yourself a couple hours. I don't know if that includes the hour that it took me to walk all the way over here from the bus station or if it's worth like a couple hours up here. I guess I'll have to go explore that. I do have some of my water. This is the first liter and a half, so I got the other liter and a half still to go. But a pretty area up here. At the base of the Dolomites here in the Italian Alps. Nice and cool under these trees. Could have bought swim trunks. I could have gotten the water. Oh, just a few minutes past that last waterfall, I found a map. And it looks like you got to continue upstream a little bit. Wow, look how clear that water is. That is just crystal, crystal clear. And a little gap in the, uh, the rock there shoots a little... Uh, over the water down. Oh, very impressive. There's some uh, folks back there. And I don't know if they were swimming. They were probably more Instagramming. Two ladies taking photos of each other on the rocks. See how many likes you get. Anyway, all good for them. I wonder sometimes like people go and they uh they travel around they visit all these places they've never been before and they they shoot like a million pictures and i wonder if they ever go back and look at them maybe once or or something like i enjoy shooting the video more that way if i go back and watch it it's at least there's more uh, there's more to see again. And honestly, like I'm never looking through the camera when I'm walking and filming. I'm just kind of holding it out. I used to just kind of walk around and film and never talk, but then I realized that I love the sound of my own voice. So <laughs> I can go back and hear what what I'm seeing or what I'm thinking or how I'm feeling at that time. Right now, my left ankle is pretty sore. I took a, uh, I took a tumble in Saranda last, this was last Thursday. It was the day I went out to the Blue Eye and stone sober, hadn't had a beer in a day and a half and was walking around the city actually looking for uh, how I was going to get out to the Blue Eye, maybe thinking about taking a cab. They wanted about 80 euros, so that wasn't going to happen. I ended up doing it for 70 euros round trip via the bus. This is nice. Uh, but I was kind of hiking around there, and then uh, there was two guys. I guess they were changing something on a sign. I was kind of watching them as I was walking, and the, uh, the, uh, the blocks on the sidewalk were uneven I didn't notice it and of course I hit it with my left foot and I went down and I was able to catch myself so I didn't hit a shoulder or anything I just rolled that ankle pretty good but I went down and the uh, guy that was holding the ladder was kind enough to come over and give me a hand up and check on me and make sure I was okay that friendly Albanian hospitality but I was I just walked it off I still feel some remnants of it a little bit This just goes on and on and on. Looks like a few more folks up here. This might be a good swim spot.
Oh yeah, it looks like a bunch of folks up here. And over here. Pretty good water. I'm not going to film a bunch of folks swimming. So we'll pause it here and we'll come back as we keep hiking up trail. Well, as you keep climbing higher, the scenery just keeps getting better. This little gorge coming through here and a spectacular waterfall plowing through over the rocks into a little pool here. Then it cascades a little further down. If I go around those rocks, I'm going to find two naked people. I saw some man and some woman had stripped down to the naturist mode. It looked like it was cold water because she was really hesitant to get in. That's why. <laughs> ah, this is awesome. I think I'm going to stop up here, finish my big uh, 1.5 liter of water, and maybe finish the rest of my Snickers bar. I get a little more energy in me. I'm not certain how much further uh, this path goes. Well, I'm going to follow it along. The higher I go, the cooler it gets as well. And the breeze has really picked up nicely, and yeah, we're probably mid-afternoon, maybe 2.30 or 3 o'clock. I'm guessing, yeah, maybe not that late. Now, yeah, right at 2 o'clock. Just seems later, because we've been moving a lot. I saw some fish back before. I don't see any fish down there. I'll tell you, the most impressive thing that I don't see, thankfully, is litter. There's been no trash or no garbage, which is really awesome. All right, going to pause here for a little bit and continue on. Oh, yeah, Italy, just outstanding. So just finishing that hill after my water and the rest of my Snickers. I hit the spot, actually. This gorgeous little area right here. But is it passable? This might be like little stones that you can walk across to get there. I'm going to try that. I am not going to film that. Then you get this fall over here and it looks like maybe some pretty good views from up the, uh, the hillside there. So if I can maneuver this treacherous crossing a video from that side. Just perfect shade in here. Nice little breeze. All right, traversing the stream, here we go. A successful traverse across the stream, back on the uh, steps right there, the blocks. Oh, look how blue that water is. It's amazing clarity. Coming through all the filterization of these rocks. Water is not warm, I can just tell by the uh, the cooling effect that comes off of it. Usually when you see water that runs that swiftly, it's not going to be warm just because it never sits anywhere long enough to get warm. Oh, wow. I have no idea what the source of the water is. I don't know if it's snow melt. Read online, someone said that they thought the uh, water level was a little bit lower this summer, so who knows? We're going up. A few folks walking. Look at those big, steep cliffs right there. Wow. Pretty amazing. And very comfortable back here in the shade with the wind coming off the water. Yeah, 
yeah, still steadily climbing uphill. Hope those aren't thunderheads. Yeah, this place is very, very impressive. Um, obviously a lot of waterfalls, but like Plitvica in Croatia where I was at the one time, it's a totally different feel. I mean, that one is kind of laid out. I mean, there's boardwalks going around the place for crying out loud. So you can see all the uh, falls and they're much, much larger because they have all the terrace lakes. This one just uh, a very natural environment. Although the gravel is kind of tough to walk on. That and the uh, cobblestones that they have all over. But well, you just get an idea of just how clear that water is. And how quick moving it goes. Not really sure where to turn around at. I don't want to turn around and all of a sudden find out, you know, if I would have went 10, 50 more minutes, I would have saw something else. So I think I'm just going to keep going. I still see people that are coming down the hill. So maybe if I start running out of folks and I'll turn around. So I'll go up here a little bit further. Oh, looks like there's a gate right here. This could be the terminus. Hi, Jorna. So I think this is it, sports fans. Well, that answers that previous question of how far we're going to go. That is it. The top of the trail. Oh, good for us. We made it. Let's sit here for a moment, relax, enjoy it, and then hike it all the way back downhill, all the way through that gorge. A beautiful summer day here in early July, back in Italia. Maybe we'll find a uh, cold beverage at the bottom of this gorge. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Eight euros total for a sandwich and a beer and this environment, then enjoy it. Totally worth it. The Italian Alps.